You want to build a power grid, but you're not sure how to make it reliable. I've asked myself the same question, and the solution is one of those everyone hates him for this one simple trick kind, but I'll show it to you anyway, so we never have to hear ever again. Hey, I'm Prox and welcome back to Satisfactory. There's actually only one thing you can do to stabilize a power grid, and that thing is batteries. Not sure how exactly you do batteries, but luckily I have a banger idea on how to build them that you can have for free. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and continue watching. Now let's grab a battery from the build menu and place as many as we can up to the point where it completely overwhelms our power supply and will take forever to fully charge. Luckily it is no longer 2022 when Will Smith was clapping cheeks and dinosaurs were still roaming the earth. We now have the power of AI that can do everything for us, except maybe use a specific mechanic in a video game about building factories that requires spatial awareness and real-time pattern recognition. So for now we'll have to manifest this into existence ourselves, it's all worth it though because having a stable power grid is awesome, especially for you because you don't really need to do anything and can just grab the final product from Discord. We're now over one minute deep into the video and I haven't yet built anything, so unsubscribe I guess, but we can fix that by simply placing batteries in the blueprint designer, then adding a switch and connecting everything together. While this would technically do the job, it will also make you look like a complete maniac. So instead we want to place four batteries symmetrically in the center, leaving a little bit of space between them. Then add vertical beams on the sides and some pillars on top of them to make it look somewhat industrial and then do the same thing horizontally to form a nice cubicle. This will be our baseline, so we can paint it using custom colors to prevent it from getting all weird if we play around with our palettes later on and giving it a quick save. Now we can turn this boring shell of a battery pack into a set of modular blueprints that will later become an industrial battery complex. I asked Ada to come up with a couple of simple layouts for me to start with and I was pleasantly surprised by its response. I recommend you start with two independent battery modules, initiate with an enclosed walk-in battery pack featuring glass walls on three sides. You should maintain an opening on one side to serve as an entrance to facilitate access to internal components. I advise the inclusion of a switch within the interior and integration of numerous sockets along the exterior edges for easy power management and seamless connectivity. Additionally, it is advisable to implement safety measures such as rails and or barriers to mitigate the risk of accidents. Once you complete the initial design, save the finalized version and clear the blueprint designer. Load the saved blueprint to be used as a starting point for the next step. You will now make adjustments to transform it into a walkthrough configuration. To achieve this, simply remove the glass wall parallel to the initially open side and construct a mirrored version of the entrance. With this step complete, the construction of the two independent battery pack modules is finished. Congratulations, Pioneer! That wasn't really Ada, even though for a moment it felt like AI has finally taken over, which I hoped wouldn't happen for at least a couple more years. I also learned that I suck at cable management and could never be an actual electrician. But now we're ready to improve this amateur set of blueprints into something more respectable. And if we don't want to take a fat L, we'll need the fat P. A plan. Now be a the man and strap on a strap in because we'll execute as we go. For starters we need a couple entrance pieces. Beginning with number the one, a most straightforward blueprint, a straightforward walk-in entrance blueprint. And with such creative name in place we just need to load up the base module in the designer, rip out the back wall for obvious reasons, extend the catwalk making sure it's perfectly aligned and save it as ramped entrance. Then, with the simple adjustment, we turn it into a straight pass-through building. I know, it's technically two blueprints, but... Number two. At some point, we're bound to have a desire of entering a battery stack from its side. For that, we'll need an angled entrance blueprint. And thanks to our amazing planning skills, we left enough in-between space for all of our shenanigans. So we can move the switch out of the way to someplace else, delete the left wall, check the alignment, and... You thought I was about to say, save the blueprint? And you were right, save the blueprint, but also make another one just like it, except this time, turning right. Of course the charade isn't over without a proper T-split entrance, which is only a combination of the two angled pieces with the holes on either side. I expect at this point you're more than capable of handling it on your own, and if you're not, just grab it from Discord and say you did it anyway. 
3. We now technically have all the foundation pieces ready to complete our collection of blueprints. So from this point forward, it's basically adapting the existing modules to a specific needs and pretending it wasn't what we were doing all along. We simply convert the left angle, the right angle and the T-shaped entrance pieces to their walkthrough variants. Same as before, we remove excess pillars, extend catwalks and most importantly, check the alignment. Because if it's off just by a little bit, the whole thing will be 4. Watch closely as this is going to get a little technical. We'll need to load up the first blueprint we made with the help of Ada and then go to the front side of it. We now have to replace the entrance ramp with a straight catwalk. And that's it. Congratulations, you now have a comprehensive collection of blueprints that can upgrade any power grid to the level of Unbreakable, while at the same time looking all pretty and industrial. And no, I didn't mean for that to rhyme, it was just like coincidence. Now thank you for your eyeballs and I'll see you in the next one.